guys, this is Rob from River Raptor Jet Boats. We just got a XD in here for some service work this week. And I wanted to take the opportunity because this boat is uh, set up, has a lot of different options on it. And I just wanted to, to talk a little bit about the differences between the XR, which is this boat over here, and some of the options we have on it. And the XD, this boat over here, and some of the options that we have with it. Very different boats. Um, they still use the same Rotax inboard engine, but each one's set up quite a bit differently. And I just want to talk about the different options and how they're set up. So, in terms of, of bottom width, with an XR you can get anything from a 60, 66 to a 72 inch bottom width. Uh, it's standard and 19 foot long. With the XD it starts at 66 inches wide and it's a 20 foot boat. Uh, goes up to a 72, so this one is a little bit bigger boat uh, just to start with. Uh, in terms of the bottom of the boat, pretty much the same structural integrity of both, they're pretty much the same. One of the big differences with the XD, it comes standard with a raised performance intake. So that raised performance intake gets that intake about an inch and a half off the bottom um, of, the, of the, wherever you're running, gets a little higher. Where this one is standard with a uh, flat delta pad on it. Um, just looking at a few other differences between these two. If you look at the gunnel system, this we have a, a piece of form, form channel on here with some optional handrails. With the uh, XD, the sides are a little bit higher on the XD. One reason is because of the raised performance intake. Gets our engine a little bit higher, so we have to raise them because of that. We also have a little bit more freeboard between our, our decks here and the top of the gunnel. So that adds a little bit of extra um, side height. So the gunnel system is different. If you look at the, the, the vent, ventilation system on this, and these are just some style things. Our, uh, our, our air ventilation for the engine compartment is integrated into, our, into the back here. Where here we have a cow on each side, a cow vent on each side for the ventilation. One thing we do with our, with our um, gas fills is we get them out of the way so they don't take up any deck space. On the XD, it's right here in the back. On the XR, it's in the back corner, but because of the cow vents, it's set up a little bit differently. Both boats use the same type of um, rear deck bin system. So with an XD, this back deck here, or this, this lid here on the side, both sides of the engine, it opens towards the back and then we have this removable bin system. There's two on this side. Uh, the port side, starboard side has one larger one. Um, with the XR, it's similar, but these, these open, open towards, the, towards the outside of the boat. It's a little bit of difference, not a whole lot there. Moving up, I um, want to talk a little bit about the rod storage on these two boats. With an XD, or an XR, I'm sorry, the standard rod storage with an angler package, you get rod storage here on the side. Four rod tubes molded in. Uh, you got the four uh, holders here. We can put them on either side. One side is standard. We can also add rod lockers where the lid would be here on the top on either side where they open up. On an XD, the rod storage is on both sides, and this is standard. On these, this storage this is open uh, towards the front and towards the back of the boat. This particular boat, before it came in for uh, service, there was 27 rods between this side and, and the other side. Um, customer had 27 rods in here, so you can hold quite a bit of, of rods. And you can hold up to 10 footers, so if you have musky rods, you can fit them in here, and that's standard. With, with the XR, you, you can fit on the rod storage over here, if you get the, the lockable storage, you can hold up the nine, nine and a half, ten foot rods, but you're limited. You have um, tubes that are, that are uh, poured inside with the flotation, so um, you're limited to about four or five rods per side. Uh, in terms of the live well fuel tank system, with the XR, it's standard 25 gallons of fuel. With the XD, we have a 40 gallon tank on this boat. 
We also have a bigger 25 gallon live well. We can do a, a split live well with this one. With the XR, a standard 19 gallon live well. This boat's our demo boat, so it's set up a little bit differently than the newer models. The newer models with the angler package is a, a bench seat across here, the fuel tank's underneath that bench seat, and then the live well fits in between here. Our fuel tank's kind of like a saddlebag system. Uh, it's connected, but the, the live well fits in between there. So nice little place for, for passengers to sit also makes a place to step up onto the back deck because it's down in about four inches below the surface for seats right here. Um, and that's standard for 60, 66, and 72 inch bottom widths. So we still have good, um, good seats for, and steps on both of them. Uh, we also have optional step boxes we can add getting up to the, up onto the decks. This one has four step boxes. They're storage and that makes a nice place to throw keys or some small items in here. All nice way to step up on the decks. We can do that with the XRs as well. You're less likely to get step boxes on the back because of the integrated seats we have back here that work good as a step. Um, another option that we have is the flooring. Okay, so this boat here has our standard form coat. If you could, I don't know if you can see that. It's a grippy surface, so it's not just paint. So it actually uh, gives a lot of grip even when it's wet. This is the standard coating. This boat here has the aqua traction package to it. So this aqua traction is about a quarter inch thick material available in a lot of different colors. You can see we can laser logos, we can do different patterns. Really the sky's the limit in terms of what you want to do with the aqua traction, how you want to match it color wise. Um, so we can do a lot there. Um, in terms of the, the controls, XD versus XR, pretty much the same controls. In terms of engine, we start with a 200 horsepower engine on the XD. With the XR, we can go down to the 170, 200, 250, so there's a little bit more options with the XR. Um, we can, either one, we can add different options, rod buckles, uh, trolling motor. Um, Front storage system is similar with both of them. We have, we have four compartments and these can be split up differently depending on what the customer wants. Some, we can slide material in from the front like we do with the XR over here. You can see we, can, we, left, this, we left this open so we can take large tackle boxes and other items, slide them under there. With the XD, we bulkheaded it off so it's dedicated storage. And so we can do that with either model, and we can really, really change this uh, depending on what we need to do here. Trolling motor, recessed foot control, um, either boat. What else am I missing, Jeff? I miss anything? I think you got about all of it, Rob. All right, so um, we have lots of options, um, either model, lots of options. So give us a call if you're interested. We'd love to talk through some of these options. Um, these are both beautiful boats. They handle fantastic. They both run really shallow, and they're both built really tough. Thank you.